The hummingbird feeders look different up north. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to day two or three. I've kind of lost track, man. The whole first day was driving of the Great Lakes trip, y'all, with Lunkers TV. We are out here. We actually, this morning, started off with a little bit of a uh, five mile run. Up a hill, he said. Back up this thing. This sucks. Lunkers and I got about four and a half miles in out here in Wisconsin. And then uh, we went and grabbed some breakfast, man, and now we are at Spencer's place. You guys have seen Spencer in some videos in the past with uh, AP Bassin. We were up here catching some smallies. Uh, Spencer, tell them a little bit about your service, what you got going up here. I'm gonna yeah. put his information down in the description for y'all. I kind of do it all. I do um, walleyes, smallmouth, and salmon, and steelhead. Um, and brown trout, but more importantly, I uh, kind of specialize in walleyes and smallmouth. I start out walleye fishing in April. I do smallmouth May, June, salmon July, salmon trout, bass in August. September is everything. October is pretty much specifically bass, walleyes, and brown trout. So honestly, a little bit of everything. I live in a very unique area. It allows me to do everything just because everything presents here. Um, Great Lakes are awesome. So. We're gonna have some fun today. Some fun indeed, man. He's got some new uh, electronics since the last time we fished with him. And you gotta check out his Instagram page, man. He's catching donkeys. My PB smallmouth is probably three. <laughs> We're gonna hope to get on a couple ourselves today. Breaking my PB should not be too tough because I think I'm sitting at about two and a half to three pounds and he knows where the bigs lie. So we're gonna find him today. We'll see ya. If you don't. We'll just say there's bigger and we'll say if, if I don't break my PB today, I suck. It's, yeah, it's, 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 because, it's because I put this much lime on my spool. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is why I won't catch a PB today. All aboard, man. If you're on the bottom, you're doing a bad job? No, nope, that's fine. Okay. A little bit, yeah. You don't want to be on the bottom, but. Okay, because I was on the. Yeah, I felt it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's giant a giant. Walleye. What giant is that? Giant walleye. Wow. Big old walleye. Huge walleye. Oh wow. my God. Dude, look at this. This is something a little bit different. Crystal clear down to the bottom, y'all. A good shot because it's so close. See him? Yeah. There's one right here, Rob. There you go. Got him. Got him. That'll be sick. That'll be sick. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me just go to the left here. Take it. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's see if I can't land this first fish we link up with. I don't know uh, how many fish has been in the boat, but I'd say it's about 10. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Alrighty then, that'll do. Woo. Check this dude out. There we go, guys. My first one of the day. Holy smokes, Lunker's putting me to shame. Spencer catching them left and right. I'm throwing the same stuff and having not that much luck. The breeze has picked up. It's a little tougher to see him, but uh, we're on him. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. All right, that feels good. You guys, I don't know how much footage I've even shown you because I haven't been on them. Check my line real fast. Re-rig the bug, back in the water, man. We are rolling over beds left and right. These smallies are everywhere. Now that the wind's picked up though, I assume we may transition to some off now deep. We'll see what happens, man. Got him. That's that one. All right, this is my PB right here. That's, that's a PB fish for me. Oh, did I uh, foul hook this dude? No way. I think so, dude. He ca he came up and ate it. I, I didn't set the hook on him. He snatched it, but yes. Jeez, Louise. Uh, come here. Yeah. Stupid. 
Ah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Okay, guys, yeah, let me just explain what just happened. Basically, the worst thing imaginable when you travel across the country to go and catch some big smallmouth up here on the Great Lakes is you catch the largest one you've ever brought in and you snag it in the forehead, man. Don't know how I managed to do these things. You guys see me fish for largies on beds all the time. Never snagging fish, man. Then when we link up with a good one here, of course, he goes after it, darts for it, he swooshes right to the left, set the hook, got unlucky. It wasn't one of the giants that this place is known for, but it was definitely the biggest one I had ever caught, so huge bummer, but uh, I think we still got a chance of pulling in a big four or five on this trip, so we're gonna go, or plus, who knows? We might just get a freak of nature, but uh, yeah, today was not my day. Let's go ahead and keep it rolling. We do catch plenty more, man. All right, well, look at what we just landed, boys. The biggest one for me of the day. God dang. Potential for the PB, but we're just going to toss him back because we want to get something, like, ginormous. If we're... We'll set you free, bud. You have fun down there. These fish's pattern is so crazy compared to these largemouth. I guess not crazy, just different. It's different than what we're used to. Oh, little guy. Classic. <laughs> First one on the moving bite, though. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, he don't. Oh, okay. Come on, get up in here. Let's just. Let's just. How about that? Got him. See ya. <laughs> Oh, that was my first one. Yeah, yeah, that was a tug. That was yeah. These bass—they've got smaller mouths, so. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna say you don't say because they are called small mouths. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna point out the obvious thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are called small mouths. I think that was the problem. Oh, nope, nope, no. Nope. That was a tree or the bottom. That was not a bite. Where the buffalo roam. Pretty neat because it was a small mouth, right? Yeah, that's the f problem with these things, man. <laughs> Down in Texas, they got bigger ones, and it's just, you know. Ah, 444, man. We've been at it for a hot second. Let's go ahead and grab something to eat. I was literally gonna ask like if you got people that feel oh, nervous about just holding on. Oh. Look what we stumbled upon, man. The Harbor Fish Market. Looks good. I just had to work on today's upload. I just got that done over uh, tethering Wi-Fi. So you guys got something to watch today. Let's go ahead and get in here and have some dinner. Dinner was delicious. I don't think I filmed a bit. Rob's over here talking about frozen you custard. You didn't now. film anything in there. You I don't think I did. Good ass meal. That was a fantastic meal. Y'all missed out on the black and uh, white fish. fish. Yep. Missed out on some. Missed out on some excellent raviolis over here. Hey, hey, Cam. And then. Cam's filming. Yeah. Hey, Cam. We'll leave, we'll leave him to it. I love custard. Why not? Sure, Cam. Sure, I love it. I'm gonna eat some custard. Why not? See you in better. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everyone got chocolate, but I walked out with the flavor of the day, man. Butterfinger, I think it's the only way to go. Nope. He said no. Nope. All right, guys, something a little different for you today. Yes, this is a microphone. Uh, we are closing things out a little bit differently. <laughs> I got the uh, camera set up showing you guys a last minute, essentially what's in your tackle bag. Uh, this is not a tackle bag. What's in your camera bag <laughs> type of skit here at the end of today's video because I know some of you guys are aspiring filmmakers. You might uh, be planning a trip like this and want to know what gear I brought along for this thing right here uh, as far as batteries. Truck. We're going to cover it all right here right now and it's going to be quick and concise. So let's go ahead and get to the point. We brought, of course, the MacBook Pro. This guy right here fits in the bottom of this Pelican backpack. Simple as one, two, three. We've got a couple GoPros. I brought uh, both of our eights, Devin and I's. So we also brought one more GoPro I left inside and forgot about, but it's our, <laughs> our older Hero 5. And I brought it with a long, like, uh, extendable stick. That way we can do underwater footage for you guys. So we did get a couple underwater shots using that. So I actually brought three GoPros total. Back to the deal. I had batteries in both of these with formatted cards, but trust me, it does not stop there. We brought plenty of extra batteries, and I usually just get whatever is highly rated on Amazon whenever I need new batteries. So I think we got probably 15 to 20 on us, if you want to include the ones that 
that are in the GoPros and whatnot. Wasabi, Artman, the ones that came with the GoPro, just whatever works, man, you gotta have batteries. And some people use portable chargers. So we did bring a couple portable chargers as well. I've seen some vloggers that keep one in their pocket and they use a GoPro cord to go from the charger to the GoPro and just stay charged. I'm trying to find it right now. That's why I'm not looking at you guys. And so I have this right here. So some folks would really plug this in and they would have this attached to their GoPro while they film. That is an excellent alternative for me. I brought these in case I was without power and needed to charge my batteries because that method works well for me. I did bring the Mavic Air and I haven't flown it much, but we might break the drone out a little bit on the remainder of the trip. I also brought an inverter. I didn't know that Rob's new truck has a power outlet, but I wanted to make sure I was not left in a position where I couldn't edit videos for you guys and continue uploading one video per day while I was on this trip. And so if that was the case and I had to just use the cigarette lighter, I wanted to be able to charge my computer and any electronics for that matter on this trip to be able to get the job done for you guys. Before I forget, the mic that has been on top of the camera the whole trip and for 99% of my videos is a cheap road video micro, like $40, $50 mic, get it Best Buy, buy it on Amazon. I'll try and link some of the stuff below. In fact, I think it is already because I've had this stuff in my description, all my gear. Cheap, reliable, gets the job done, man. Road video micro. I also brought a telephoto lens. I figured I might use this a little bit with the Ronin digital stabilizer that you guys are uh, sitting on right now you will notice we are on the stabilizer you guys are on the Ronin S and I'm using a Sennheiser wireless mic to get this little bit done right here for a little bit crisper audio let's set this back down and try and get that composition somewhat back to where it was yeah so the Sennheiser wireless mic is just in my pocket boom this is the little carrying case I had for it charger for the MacBook Pro spare SD cards We've got plenty of them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got about, we got a handful in here. We got about 10 SD cards. I like to use 128 gigs. Gets you tons of footage on the GoPro and main camera. Ah, plenty of chargers for the GoPro batteries, as well as this little USB charging port by this brand called PowerAd we found on Amazon. And so this is basically just, you can turn one outlet into multiple USBs and uh, et cetera. So we've got three triple chargers for our aftermarket batteries. I'll even bring this in a little bit so you can maybe see this. I'm charging nine batteries at one time. I think I even brought the fourth one so I could charge 12 batteries at one time uh, because every day we're spending a lot of hours out on the water. Here's a GoPro battery that needs to be charged. I'll put that about done. We got another thing or two in here though. We got just the iPhone charger. We got my Apple Watch charger. We have, oh, this is slick. This is the um, Apple Lightning to SD card reader. So if I take a thumbnail picture or if I take any pictures for that matter on the Sony camera, I can go ahead and put that card in here and I can plug this into my iPhone and I can get the pictures from my camera to my iPhone in seconds without having to do the whole Bluetooth thing or Wi-Fi deal that I'm sure uh, this camera offers. Or I know this camera offers, but I've just used this cord. It keeps things simple and quick. AirPod Pros, very impressed with these things, man. Honestly, I didn't think that they were gonna be that much of a step above like the regular AirPods, but the noise canceling makes all the difference. I mean, I use this for like my drums at home and stuff, it's pretty funny. It like literally cancels out, that's okay. These are really good. The AirPod Pros are dope. If you wanna edit on the run and you don't wanna be hearing outside noises, they kick butt if you're not gonna be using something that's wired and even more high dollar for your edits. We also have the hyperdrive, can't leave home without it. This is gonna help me get my footage from the cameras onto the computer. It's got multiple lightning ports, USBs, and it has a micro and standard SD card readers. Gotta have the hyperdrive. A new portable charger that we just bought. This one is actually capable of powering the MacBook Pro for like a full charge or two. And so can never have too much power in certain instances. Of course, you guys know we were planning on camping this whole time. And so I figured we weren't gonna have much opportunity to charge our devices. Well, we ended up staying with Spencer. Thank goodness for him. You guys are absolutely gonna be blown away with the footage we have for you fishing with Spencer over the next few days, man. I'm very excited for you. Uh, last thing is the charger for the Ronin S. And that is everything in the tackle bag. I just wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys. I know not everyone is gonna be watching this one till the end and that's just fine for you guys that aren't a photo video this is the gear i bought and if you want to start your own youtube channel i highly recommend just starting with a gopro i mean just get a cheap camera is all you need get going you can film all your like intros and all your talking bits with the gopro like this there's different mic options if you want to get fancy standard audio and the eights and others is pretty good and then of course for us fishermen you just put this thing right here on your chest and you film the rest keeps things real simple man don't go crazy in the beginning but if you'd like to know what i brought with me for this trip that is exactly why i wanted to cover it here at the end so i appreciate you guys for watching thank you so much we've got so much more epic footage up here in door county wisconsin for you guys coming in the next few days be on the lookout <laughs>